Hi friends, it's Sunny. So the figure that we're going to focus on today is a silver international foxtrot closed telemark. So this is a useful figure both socially and competitively. Um, but what is silver level? So um, make sure if you're dancing this socially that you're dancing with a little bit more experienced lady. Um, I'll cover the leads part in the first half of the video. And I'll cover the follows part in the second half of the video. And we'll cover um, a couple entrances in and out, um, as well as the fundamentals of this figure. So let's get started. I'll do leads part first. So leads I'm going to show going down the line of dance this way. I'll show from a number of different angles, so if you don't catch it on the first shot, don't worry. I'll cover it again on another wall. So usually I initiate this diagonal center. I'm going to step forward on my left heel with maximum turnout. Heel, roll it on to a toe. I have toe rise but not maximum knee or leg rise. So heel, I walk her off with my right toe. I get all the way around her, so she has no choice but to do a heel turn. And I'll step side and slightly forward, diagonal wall. And my next step, whatever that may be, is going to go outside of partner, toe flex, heel. For today's purposes, I'll show a feather going into this and a feather exiting out, since I'm going to assume you already know that figure. So now I'll show the feather, the closed telemark, exiting with another feather. And I'll give you a couple other options, but let's show one another wall. So I'm going to head down line and dance this way, okay? So for lead, I'm heading diagonal center, heel. Let's dance this way. Hmm. Here we go. I'm coming right at you. So my timing will be slow, quick, quick. Although the numbers are officially one, three, four, I want you to think about dancing it with an early arriving right foot. So think. One, two, four. It's a little cheat to give your lady a very clear lead that'll encourage your body to rise early enough to lead that heel turn. I'll show that one more time and count it. One, two, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, now I'm going to show down line of dance this way. So I'm inside a partner. I'm inside a partner, and we exit inside a partner, and then I shift with a strong, I don't want you to think left side lead, because the man tends to go here, think left hip lead, so the body is following the hip rather than just the top, okay, and this will exit outside a partner, so think strong left hip lead. Okay, I'm going to show down line of dance this way again, so here's our closed telemark, Plus, quick, quick shift outside of partner and into self. Okay? So, uh, leads. My first um, big complaint, I see this, it's probably 95% of dancers, is you're not looking where you're going. So, let's talk about our head position. Um, so, what I don't want to see or feel from the man is looking at her, looking at her, looking at her. Another way to think of that would be banking your turn right or having broken sway right. Keep your head left of your left butt cheek. So, have a look like this. Looking where I was and looking where I'm going. This will telegraph to your lady as well as the other leads in the room where you're going to dance to. Okay? It'll also, if you think about where you're going, um, help keep your head left instead of in her space. 
Okay, I'll show that from another angle. Okay, here I am. Here's my girl. I'm not looking at her. I'm thinking about here's where I was and here's where I'm going. So if anything, try to look slightly outside of your left hand rather than inside and certainly not behind you at this point. Okay? Okay. Next, leave. Um, I touched on this a little bit earlier. I don't want to leave her with the arms. So my top line is consistent, even though it's a rotational figure. So right arm forward, bend the elbow, left hand to the side, parallel with your back line. I'm going to shift, and we talked a little bit about this too, using the hip instead of the waist. Use your hip and your knees, point those to your girl, and the body will follow that naturally. So whatever I do, this top is consistent. If I shape, it's going to be from the knees, not from my waist, and certainly not from my elbows. That feels horrible to your girl. Okay, so I'll show that again, and we'll make sure to keep a nice still top line. I'm going to show down my advance this way, our closed pillow mark. I've got my space for my girl, my knees are to her, close, quick, quick, shift to the outside, quick, quick, okay? I'll show down my advance this way, heading diagonal center, curve to your mat, quick, quick, toe flag heel, close. Quick, quick. Okay. Now I'll show down line of dance this way. Heel, toe. Toe. Toe, toe, flat. Heel, booty, pass. Pass. Okay. You can initiate this figure down line of dance. Um, it makes it harder because you have to rotate more. So my suggestion, if possible, is to start the egg center. You could also over-rotate your exit and head down line of dance into something. Again, if possible, end bag wall. That's the most comfortable for your girl because it requires the least rotation. Okay. Um, I showed this with a feather entrance and exit. Um, you could, for uh, comp competition purposes, do something a little bit fancier. So um, I'll show this figure a couple more times. This time I'll put a hover cross in front of it, which is a silver figure, and I'll end um, with a curved feather to back feather, which is a gold syllabus figure. So this would be usable um, in silver competition for the first part, or gold competition um, level dancing if you wanted to do this whole amalgamation. Um, makes the figure a little cooler because it adds a lot of rotation. Um, let's show what that looks like. I'm going to head down line of dance this way. So. Sorry, I need a little space here. Have a cross. Slow. Quick, 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 quick. Exit and back center like we talked about. Here is our closed pillow mark. Slow. Quick, quick. Here's the curve feather to back feather. This is the gold figure. Slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick. And I can head out into a feather, back into bronze or anything else. Ladies, let's talk about our part. So, usually he initiates this back in, and I'm just back in bag center. So, um, for lady, I have a lot of heel turns in foxtrot. It's a tough figure. You might want to just practice this on your own in your kitchen for like two weeks um, before it'll come a little more naturally when you're dancing. But I'm going to curve back with turn in small step on my right toe, meeting the outside edge. Pulling the left foot to the right until the feet completely close. Both the balls and the heels are closed. Sit on my right foot, sit on my left foot. I'm sitting on the heel, not the ball. I'm going to continue spinning and I'm going to step back on my right toe. Whatever comes next, I can pretty solidly bank that it's going to be something going back on the outside edge, outside of partner. In this case, I'll show a feather for today. Okay, let me show that from a couple different angles, ladies. I'll try to slow that down. This will be my new line of dance. 
So, I'm heading to um, back you back in front of the lady. Her back, closes in on the heel. Spider gently back on the right toe. Back into something outside of partner. Okay, now I'm going to show down line and down. This way, lady. delaying, I'm over-rotating when I receive a rotational lead. Um, I'm going to stay a little bit lower. That way, if he jacks up my top one, I'm, I can just dance underneath of him and I'll still look pretty good. There's no way you can roll a stand up tall and fight him for space and make your top look good. So I like to pretend that I'm dancing with Santa. I scooch, scooch, scooch under Santa's belly and I do that for all the steps. It'll give you a nice pretty shake. Make sure to keep your left side really long while you're doing that. So we don't want to be here in your Santa's belly or lift, 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 lift your left side through this whole figure. Okay, let me show that going line of dance this way. So I'm thinking Santa's belly, turning in the foot, tied by, assuming a heel turn. Okay, ready? Slow. If you're competing um, in silver, you can do a natural hovercross. If you're competing in gold, uh, you can do uh, a curved feather and back feather. So I'm going to show this figure sandwiched between some fancier figures. And I'll show that as lady. 
and I'll go down my hip uh, this way. So here's my natural hover cross for lady. Slow, quick, 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 quick. Here is my new figure, my closed hover. Slow, quick, quick. And here's that third feather. Slow, quick, quick in the back feather. Quick, quick. And we're off to the races doing uh, feather and basics. in International Standard Foxtrot. I hope you enjoyed that today. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, shoot me a line. I can always post another video. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.